But one item here tells of a mammoth mystery that sprung from the desert floor. It's 30 inches long, 18 inches wide, and eight inches deep. It weighs approximately 100 pounds and is rectangular. It is grayish brown and has a large oblong impression. This ancient sandstone slab made a giant mark on one man's imagination. This is the story of footprints, fossilized finds, and fantastical beings. It's the late 1870s in Carson City, Nevada. On the grounds of the state prison, inmates are doing hard labor in the harsh desert landscape. They were coring for sandstone in order to build new buildings on the prison site. But just below the surface, they find something curious, a series of strange indentations in the rock. Most appear to be animal tracks from native species like bison, deer, and wolves. But there's some depressions that can't be identified several hollow ovals, about two feet in length. Each mark bears a distinct inward curve on one side and slants across the top. Nobody at the prison knew what to do with these prints. They knew that they were very important, but they didn't know how to proceed, so they decided to ask for help. The sheriff of the county turns to renowned naturalist Harvey Wilson Harkness was a faculty member at the California Academy of Sciences and focused on researching the plants and animals of the Pacific states. When Harkness arrives at the prison, he begins by examining the impressions. As he does so, he notes that they seem to run in pairs, appearing every 2.5 feet. This leads the scientists to believe that they are footprints. And given the arrangement, the scientist theorizes that they were left by a bipedal creature that walks upright. He thought these might have been humanoid. But if they are indeed footprints, they are bigger than any known species of humans. The creature they belong to must have been extraordinarily large. This leads Harkness to a stunning conclusion. Harkness believed that he might have found proof of giants. This could possibly change all of human history. From the Cyclops of Greek mythology to Goliath of the Bible, from the Yeti of Nepal to the Bigfoot of North America, myths and legends of enormous humanoids have fascinated historians and anthropologists alike. Throughout history, there had been tales of beings that were of immense size and strength, but no physical evidence of this lost species had ever been found. So has Harvey Wilson Harkness just found actual proof that giants once walked the Earth? In the months that follow, word of Harkness's findings sparks a heated debate over the possible existence of prehistoric giants. Other experts question Harkness's conclusions, but until his death in 1901, Harkness was convinced that he had found proof that a race of Goliaths walked across North America. Then, in 1926, one man sets out to uncover the truth once and for all, a paleontologist named Chester Stock. Stock was a well-regarded scientist that specialized in studying mammals. Stock agrees with Harkness that these impressions could be footprints, but he's not so sure that they're proof of giant humans. So what creature left them behind? The scientist searches the records to see if any other evidence was discovered in the quarry. He learns that nearby, someone had found a set of massive bones. They belong to an extinct mammal known as a mylodon, or giant ground sloth. While related to modern sloths, they would have been much larger. While standing on their hind legs, these sloths could get almost eight feet tall. Stock carefully reconstructs a mylodon foot. Then he compares it to the impression examined by Harkness. Sure enough, it appears they are a perfect match. He concludes that the oblong indentations are the footprints of this ancient beast. The mystery had finally been solved. Today, one of the original sloth tracks examined by Harkness is on display at the W.M. Keck Museum at the University of Nevada, Reno. It serves as a reminder of a giant problem, then one man's bare-bones solution.